this is day 10 and here you can see the chickens in their new environment. It is the front spare bedroom and this room is about well, a 12 by 12 room something like that and you can see that the pen that I created takes up pretty much the whole room and the way that I created this pen I bought some 12 inch by 150 foot chicken wire and there you can see it along the side and uh, I also bought um, I think it was a four mil he fairly heavy plastic painting drop cloth or drop cloth actually and laid that down on the floor created my basic frame out of the chicken wire and then used twist ties and uh, actually ended up cutting when I ran out of twist ties ended up cutting the uh, chicken wire itself and brought the plastic sheeting up over the edge to create a draft guard and it's very flexible and seems to work very well but these guys are really starting to try and fly and I was worried that 12 inches was not going to be tall enough so this morning I added a second tier and you can see that right there of 12 inch chicken wire so it's 24 inch tall now and I devised a little gate here in the front for myself so when I want to get inside to do something with the chickens all I have to do is open that little gate and I can step right in there and that's always fun because it's like you know Godzilla's come to visit Godzilla and uh, yeah that's uh, the new brooder pen and you can also see, by the way, that I'm trying to get them roost trained. And of course, didn't have a portable roost. All the roosts are permanently fixed in the coop out in the barn. But I had an old bamboo uh, dish rack that I don't use for anything. And as you can see, they seem to roost on that just fine. And this morning when I came in, there was somebody up on the top tier, actually. So they're using it. They're flying around. And I also figured out a way to minimize the amount of wood chips and stuff that are getting into the water. That platform over there is actually an old shelf off of an old uh, computer desk that I no longer own. But the shelves seemed like good ideas, so I kept the brackets on them. had no idea at the time why I was keeping them. But they have made perfect little raised platforms that help minimize, doesn't eliminate completely, but helps minimize getting wood chips and chicken poop in their water. Their food doesn't seem to be too much of a problem, so I've kind of left that alone. And over here, I just used a small cardboard box to elevate the small quart mason jar waterer. So here we are, day, day what are we, day 10? Yes, oh, there's somebody trying to fly. And they've actually bapped into the chicken wire trying to fly so it's kind of fun but here they have substantially more room and we have moved to red lights even though I have the overhead lights on at the moment so this video will turn out better and also to get them up and active uh, but the red lights allow them to sleep much better so wonder what day 11 is going to hold